Hey YouTubers, this is my 1948 Zenith 12H093. I don't know if it's a 93 or a 93R. <clears throat> Chair side. I just picked it up today. I drove about an hour and 45 minutes to get it. Um, it comes with the original owner's manual right there. And one of the legs is missing right there. It's. It's a little wobbly because the one of the legs is off. Cab is not too bad of shape. Yeah, um, found it on the Facebook Marketplace. Woman one had been in the family since new. It was uh, it was a couple, an older couple, and it belonged to the husband's parents originally. Um, there's a couple other videos of these on. Um, YouTube, but um, of them playing, but <clears throat> it's got like a little record cabinet here to put records in. Um, the only reason I've got it plugged up is they've had the thing plugged up, and it will come on, which you know it needs a total recap and restoration, and. The dial string is broke, so, you know, whatever you do, it doesn't work. And that changes the, from the old, it's got the old FM band, the, you know, the regular FM band. Let's see, yeah, new bet, regular FM, the old FM, shortwave, and broadcast. <clears throat> and I'm thinking this is probably the only chair I'd ever made with FM on it, you know. But it's a little boxy, you know, it being... Post war, World War II, boxy. I have another chair, chair uh, Zena chair side that I never finished restoring. It's a uh, uh, 9S262, maybe. I'm thinking that's the model number. It's up in my parents' storage building. Uh, I was in the middle of restoring it and the transformer went kablooey and I just never went back. It's, it's kind of one of them out of sight, out of minds. It's up there, out of my face, and I forget about it. But um, the, the record changer that comes out. You hit this button right here, and the record changer will come out, which it does not anymore. The only, um, the only way you can get the record changer to come out is, well, you can't really get it. To, I mean, I just got it. I, I unloaded it from my truck, so I don't. I haven't really fooled with it yet. This is raw. And this door spring at it, but you can reach up under and push and get it open, and you can open it up and look up in there. But if, um, they wanted 150, and I'd them for 100. You know, it's you know, it's probably pretty rare, and it, and it's the late, it's the 48 model. I know because it has the two tone arms. The this was built three three years, two years. I'm thinking it was two years. It was um, 46, 47, 48, and I think 48 is when uh, well, 46 and 47 had just the regular 78 changer. And one tone arm, whereas in 48, they put a 33 and a third tone arm on it. So it has two tone arms on it. But it, the, I reckon the changer only works for the 78 RPM. Let's see. Let me, if I can get, I'm going to lay you, I'm going to lay you down here. To raise this up and see if I can get this open. Mm. Okay, here we go. Laying you down where I can get this open. Okay. Had to reach up under to push it open. But there's the... Okay, here we go. See, it has the two-tone arms. And guts looks pretty good on it. Nice and dusty. But I'm just hoping it's... Why this motor doesn't work is maybe there's a wire cut into or a fuse blowed or something. I'm just hoping the motor is not burnt up. Because the motor is back there, as you can see. That's the motor that opens, that pushes the changer out. Whoop. I have turned. There it goes. So that says, you know, 78, 33 and a third. But overall condition is pretty good. But I, I've decided to do a video. I'm real bad about not doing um, videos as soon as, I bring, as soon as I bring something home after purchasing it. 
Come on. And the, the only reason, I mean, I, I'm a big advocate on not plugging stuff up, you know, until you recap it, but the previous owners have, you know, had it plugged up and had it on. But it don't sound like it works, but when this thing was plugged in up at uh, the people I bought it off of, I turned it on and it picked up an FM station, but you couldn't turn the dial because the dial strings broke. But it would pick up a station. So I told me the FM band's working. It was in the FM mode and I was like, whew. I was worried about the FM band. They're kind of hard to work on on these early radios. So hopefully when I ever get a chance, I'll dive into this thing. And I want to see if I can get that motor working before anything, get it to push that changer and stuff out. But So my new project, I'm going to put it behind everything else that I have. But thanks, guys, for watching.